So in this video, let's take a look at how CF Query Param works. Back in Cold Fusion Builder, I will now open the news.cfm page right here, and I will run it in the browser. Remember that this page displays a list of all the available news in the database, but if I click on one of those read more links, then I display a single news. You see that the news ID parameter is passed here in the URL, and remember that we use this parameter in a query. So here we have the RS single news query and this query in the where clause where FLD news ID equals 3 well that 3 is the same 3 as the parameter here in the URL so this is very simple to tamper with I just need to add here some malicious SQL code and I could drop some tables in the database alright so to prevent that let's return to Cold Fusion Builder and remember that we have this component, the news service component, and that component contains the get news by ID method. This is the method that retrieves a single news from the database, and this is the where clause that could be potentially dangerous. So let's change the value of that where clause here with a CF query param tag. Now the CF query param tag takes the value attribute and the value here is the news ID passed in the argument of that method. It also takes the CF SQL type and this is how I can specify the type of data that I send to the database. So in this case I send here an integer to the database. So I tell the database that the news ID is supposed to be a number and an integer number. So if I send some malicious SQL code along with that integer, the resulting parameter will not be accepted by the database because it is not anymore an integer in that case. So let's save the news service. Let's return to news.cfm and run it again in the browser. Don't forget to restart your application so that you refresh the new service component in the application scope of your application and now we'll click on one of those read more links like that you see that the news ID parameter is still passed in the URL but now if I take a look at the queries you see that the RS single news query here if I take a look at the where clause of that query where FLD news ID equals question mark and here you have the list of parameters that have been sent to the query and you see that you have the parameter number one which is an integer and it's equal to three. So this is how you can protect yourselves against the SQL injection attack. Now let's go to the online documentation for the CF query param tag and here you have a table that lists all the CF SQL types possible and you can relate that to the different data types that are supported by different types of databases. So you might want to check this page of the Cold Fusion documentation when using CF Query Param in order to choose the right data type for your queries. You will now implement CF Query Param in the rest of your website using the step-by-step -step instructions located in the PDF file whose name is now on the screen. Once again, take the necessary time to do this exercise and to get used to this procedure. I'll meet you in the next video to implement the commenting system and to work with CAPTCHA images.